In ancient time, the whole of what we call the African world was called Ethiopia. Africa was just a plain land. And then there was the Berlin Conference. The Europeans got together and divided up Africa. Our peaceful environment, our peaceful society were destroyed. In Namibia, they really near and annihilated the whole ethnic group. The colonialists, for their own interests, uh, you know, drew the, the boundaries, say this is mine, because they shared out Africa in their greed. We should now look at each other as one people. Pamoja, we are one. And genetically, we are even the same people. We've got Ubuntu. It means you are because I am, I am because you are. We are all one, we all bleed red. There are about two things that divide us, that stop us from working together. Divide and rule. First indirect rule. They, they created the tribal differences. On top of the tribal differences, they brought the religious differences. The first uh, two which the colonialists used to weaken us was to make us believe that our past was all dark. Because when the white man colonized the world, he also colonized the information about the world. The Europeans have not left. They still run this place. And one of the things that they will not stand is a united Africa. First of all, it is too rich as a continent. It has too much. Look at the DRC alone. Those other people, those other continents, everything is for them. Why is it now Africa is for everyone? They don't want any African nation to be powerful or develop. They are not there to solve our problem. If we do not wake up, this continent is going as we watch it. Mango Fuli left a very powerful testimony that by the way, we don't need your money. We can actually mobilize our own resources. So we'll use these resources to develop ourselves. This is what worries the white man, that the black man today in Africa will lead the world again.